Hello everyone. Thank you for coming out today. My old subscribers, thank you. And to those that have been for the first time or that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video. And to my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing. A boy of 12 years old has just killed himself. A 12 years old boy who felt sad and lonely during the coronavirus lockdown had to hang himself. Friends, is this not unbelievable? This is now a 12 years old boy. And he goes by the name Hayden, who is of Aledo, Texas. That's where he resides. He took his own life three days before his 13th birthday, which is meant to be in April. But because he did not know how to deal with the isolation and depression when the virus caused a national nation shutdown. This was actually reported because it's so strange and unbelievable that a 12 years old too going on that depression and decides to hang himself. And the boy's nine years old sister found him hanged in his bedroom. His father, who is called Brad, recalled the horrific moment and said that he found himself trying to save his own son's life after his youngest daughter, now aged nine, found Hayden after he took his own life at their home. The father is now saying that COVID killed his son and he thinks that Hayden would have still been alive today if COVID had never happened. It's really sad. And that he had no idea that his son was actually struggling or even having depression. He was such a happy kid and he loved his friends and family. But COVID is a perfect storm for suicide and depression. And he thinks that everything got on top of him. He felt overwhelmed and he made a tragic decision. It's just so sad. And also he said that the water in their house went out and he now came over. That's the son now came over to help him fix the point where the water had actually gone off. That was such a beautiful sunny day and even gave him a hug and kissed him on the head. Then when the dad left, there was just only him and his sister at home. There was only 30 minutes window. His son just got upstairs and decided to hang himself at that time when the father just slipped away from the house within just the space of 30 minutes. Then when the dad left there, it was just his son. And his daughter so you can see that right now even in the course of this thing the father is wishing he was there to save his son just look at within a short period of time within a period of 30 minutes this just happened and that the daughter ran downstairs and said that Hayden her brother has just hung himself and when he ran up there to pull him down he tried to save him he even performed CPR but he couldn't save him he was already gone and he saw something horrific that day that he don't wish upon anybody and it's still a nightmare to him. The heading who loved being in class, he loved being in school, he loved being among um, the students. He attended the Aledo Middle School and he just loved being around people. He couldn't do those things that he loved to do due to the coronavirus lockdown. And Brad, who is um, married to April, his wife, 39 years old, said that his son loved football and his son loved being around people. He was a very social kid and he was a little guy but had the heart of a lion. He was beloved by his friends and family and that they got him a big curved monitor for Christmas just before that particular period it happened and he loved it but he broke it by accident and he did something 
bad on a game got frustrated and he threw his controller away that it hit the monitor right in the middle and that they could have helped him but they told him that he would not get another one because he had done that out of anger and then shortly after that the lockdown now hit and he told him that he will have to work to get a new one this was another way that the dad was trying to train his child in having to control his anger and not destroy things while you are angry and he did some chairs around the house and they got him a cheaper one because it was his birthday and he wanted to play with his friends so the dad had to just let him have another one so that he can also have the opportunity to play with his friends but because of this covid he couldn't have a party so they just got him that monitor for the for his birthday present and then the police was also, also investigating and they found out that he broke his monitor again right in the corner so you can see that this kid has been struggling the second monitor they had even bought for him for his birthday he broke it again while the investigators came around the house to search his room and they don't know if he was scared about getting into trouble of anxious but not being able to speak to his friends and running his brother he either did it in a kind of anger impulsive anger or he got himself in a situation that he couldn't just get out of it it's really difficult and heartbreaking to see your kid go through something like this and you were unable to help him because you were not aware that he was actually struggling it's really painful right now you can see what is happening a whole lot of people have been deciding to go into suicide it's so heartbreaking right now that even little kids 12 13 14 like the previous videos that i had posted you could see little kids going into suicide you're like what is really happening all around the world right now a lot of people have ventured into the act of suicide who would believe that a 12 years old boy would take his own life how did he learn how to hang himself and that is the easiest way that people die that's to say that all these suicides that are being carried out by adults the younger ones are watching and they are learning from it they see these things because they're with their phones they have access to the internet and they go through a whole lot of things or they engage themselves in certain activities that they are not even supposed to or certain sites in the online they are not supposed to visit they visit such sites and they come out exhibiting horrible characters horrible attitude you'll be asking yourself where is this coming from and it's so painful because parents are out there they don't even know what is happening because their kids are not talking to them and some parents would even try to talk to their kids to find out if they are fine some of the some kids will not even open up to their parents they'll just say they are fine and their parents will feel okay since the kid has said he's fine and they've searched around to see that everything is okay with the kid the parents feel that it's okay and the next thing within minutes or seconds the kid will now decide to carry out the horrible act so you can imagine what happened with the case of Hayden. his father was with him they were fixing the pipe together the water pipe and it was like a fun thing for both of them he even hugged his son and kissed him in the head and just walked away just 30 minutes when he walked away within a short period of minutes this is when Hedy now climbed upstairs and hung himself you see how horrible and devastating such incidents can be especially on parents because it's it was on the parent the parents would be like i wish i was there to save my child because these parents did not even know what was happening and if only the son would have even shared a little bit with him you see there's no way the father would have known because he was just with his son and they tasted together the had fun together the son did not give him any sign that dad i am not okay or dad i am struggling he didn't give his dad this time he just gave his dad an impression that everything is fine and unknown to his dad that his son was battling with depression but who would imagine that a 12 years old battle with depression and not even speak up 
it's so heartbreaking i feel so sorry for this boy that has decided to take his own life i think there should be more awareness with regards to suicide and this should not be restricted to adults alone i think right now it should also involve younger ones the kids this coronavirus the lockdown has affected and caused a lot of things it has affected people businesses families a lot of people have been affected in so many ways due to this lockdown nobody bargained for it nobody brought it upon themselves the whole world is just suffering right now and it's so painful when a lot of people can still find a way to help themselves even in the lockdown the isolation it's so heartbreaking you know it's not easy to stay isolated to yourself and some people have lost their jobs and they are all by themselves no one to talk to that's even where it is worse i just wish that some people would be able to speak up and especially for kids right now i think parents has the tax right now to go more deeper because these kids are never ready to talk to their parents and the parents would not know and in the end the parents are now blaming themselves for the death of their kids when it was not caused by them you understand it's so heartbreaking that you watch your child die it's so heartbreaking that you weren't able to help your child all because you are not aware but right now i think it's like a, an eye opener for parents because these kids are not ready to talk some of them are not ready to speak up maybe there should be a more one-on-one -on -one time and try to make these kids speak up i think that's another way and again secondly watch what your kids are looking at ensure that you monitor their 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 watch on the phone on the ipads on the computer whatever electronics or gadgets they are using please monitor them very closely be sure of what your kid is watching and who they are conversing with right now it's so terrible that due to this isolation some people have made friends online friends that you don't even know friends that you can't even see and some of those people are on the other side and they're in dark dark places that they now want to lure other people into this dark place especially kids like i told you there are different groups that have actually come up right now that are now pushing kids to go into suicide and there are dark sites we have the blue whales challenge where a kid will be asked to carry out a tax and these are just done online you don't see the people that are giving you this tax you just carry on at the end of the tax you have to take your own life that commit suicide and some of those tax you would have to kill your family members before you eventually kill yourself there is another one the grow up fast that one is for toddlers and babies where the abuse toddlers and babies unknown to their parents that these kids are being these toddlers and babies are being abused there is another one again that is called death group these are secret groups deadly groups dark groups online and there's another one again dark web that one adults go through that one i think a whole lot of check should be done right now for on this internet a whole lot of people have moved to the internet which is not bad it's okay because with the lockdown right now most people are engaging themselves with online businesses online conversation which is good but diverting into all these dark websites or dark places that is where it it becomes a very big problem because right now it's so bad it has now involved kids the other day was a 14 years old who took the tax of the blue west challenge killed his entire family and then committed suicide the other day was two girls 13 years old girls who now decided after the tax they were assigned they happily joyfully killed themselves that is how it is it's like you're being hypnotized and you feel that what you're doing is the right thing they happily kill themselves and their parents unknown to them that this was what these girls were planning. And the one again is where some toddlers were being abused from that other side, they grow fast. Which you think it's like a site where you they train your kids, your toddlers on how to work, how to learn things. And then you as a parent will take them there unknown to you that they are physically abusing your own babies. 
another one is the dark web so there are so many of them that are coming up right now because some people have used this avenue of lockdown to now mess with people's minds they now feel people are isolated and a whole lot of people are becoming vulnerable right now and to the extent that little things they get affected please people should have a check especially because of kids please have a check it's not good that a parent to be taking their kids either to the mortuary or having to bury their babies or their kids it's very very painful to see any parent go through that it's very painful for the child who has even taken his or her life it's so heartbreaking now because looking at this you see you won't believe that a 12 years old will think of it and then a 12 years old going to depression yes i know because they are isolated from their friends they can't play as they used to play they can't hang out as they used to hang out before some of them are restricted to just using the computers to talk to their friends or their phones to talk to their friends which is not enough for them they want that physical contact which can't be as it used to be again because parents are trying as much as they can to also ensure that their kids are safe and healthy which is a good thing also i think there should be other ways of engaging these kids at home especially for those kids that are maybe homeschooled or they are doing they are not going to the school for in-person learning and all then in such situations parents should please carve out another avenue where these kids are engaging themselves in other lucrative activities either handcraft making something teaching them other things i know it's not easy because most parents are working or some parents are working and so they can't shuttle between working and having to run back home and probably by the time they're home the kids are already fast asleep which it's not an easy job at all on the hands of the parents but at the same time there should be another way out of this because losing a kid is a very painful and heartbreaking moment for parents and for family members entirely it's such a pity that this little boy had to take his own life I just pray that there should be more awareness regarding suicide and please people should speak up speak up if you're going through anything just speak up ensure you persuade your kid to speak up some of them would not want to say anything please try and get something out from them always have a routine check right now kids are not even on a safe side because they learn a whole lot of things that you could barely imagine that a kid would even think of doing please always check them especially don't allow them to lock up themselves in the room for a very long period of time without you checking on them and knowing what is happening and try to put away things that would harm your kids check their sites if there is a way you could put a parental guide on the instrument or their or their phones or whatever they are using to have access if you could put that if there's a way you could actually put that so that it can be a guided site that your kids will visit not just any random site because it's not helping those kids at all parents please it's not easy we all know that things are not really okay as it is to be right now so I know a whole lot of parents are going through very difficult situations. Parents are trying so hard, which a lot of thanks to parents too, because they are trying to make ends meet. And at the same time, parents are trying to feed their kids. But please, at the same time, try to have a routine check on your kids at home. Right now, there is no small or big. Kids are getting exposed a whole lot through the internet. Friends, what do you all think about this? It's so heartbreaking. May the soul of Hayden rest in perfect peace with the Lord. May Almighty God console his father, his sister, his mom, his entire family members, every other person that got to know him. May God console them all. It's so heartbreaking to see something like this. Friends, thank you for coming up today. Please, for those that have not subscribed, click on the subscribe button. And the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video friends I'm here today to talk about how to start up a new YouTube channel 
So for those that are looking to start up a new YouTube channel, probably you've been trying to figure out how to go about it, or you have been trying to see what it entails or what you need to start. That's why I'm here today to give you the easy way for you to get this done. Not just the easy, but the best method and also to give you or to talk about the best teacher who will give you all that it's required for you to start up your own YouTube channel. This is a teacher. He is really successful with his YouTube and he has been a teacher for so long now. Teacher is Matt Pa. He's going to give you a step-by-step -step method on how to start up your own YouTube channel. No stone unturned. Every step of the way, he's going to lead you through it. You have links that you can actually reach out to him and communicate with him directly. That's Matt Pa there. You can see the huge successes he has made in YouTube. You can see his silver, you can see the gold. You can also see his revenue that he's actually making on YouTube, which is very huge. He is going to give you a YouTube step-by-step -step tube mastery class. Every step of the way from the beginning of the opening of the channel, to how you can start up and put up your videos. He is leaving no stone unturned, like I said. So for those that are seeking for how to start up their own YouTube channel, this is the easiest and the fastest way for you to have access to this particular teacher who is honest and straightforward and you will enjoy every bit of the class and you will have lots of gain. At the end of your class, you will have lots to hold on to and to start up your own YouTube channel. It's going to be like an ABC class starting from the scratch. So please, for those of you that are interested in starting up your own YouTube channel, Matt Pa, he is the teacher and you will have direct access to him. I'm dropping the link below. So please, you just click on that link and you will have access to Matt Pa's class. He is going to give you the whole content of YouTube and all that it takes for you to be successful in YouTube and how to start YouTube from the scratch like i said and i'm going to repeat he's leaving no stone unturned and it's so interesting that if you have any kind of complaint no matter the time you have this complaint or you are confused about anything you can communicate directly to him and he will give you a response as soon as he gets your question or as soon as he gets your mail or anything you're trying to confirm from him he is quick at responding and he will give you the right answers and even if you go elsewhere to search you find out that what he is saying is actually true he wouldn't mislead you so please for those of you that want to start your own youtube channel from the scratch and see how you can be successful on youtube please go to this link click on the link below so you will have access to the teacher that's the teacher there you can see and see his success you can go through that and then you click on the link so that you can have direct access to Matt Pa himself this teacher you will enjoy and enjoy every bit of the classes that he's going to give to you so friends, do not forget to click the link below so you have access to Matt Pa's to mastery class. 
and he will give you the best teaching for you to you would really need to start your own channel friends thank you for coming up today please for those that have not subscribed click on the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified each time we upload a new video thank you once again and god bless you all